Hello, welcome everyone to the first, th third Vasca Tech game for Overwatch. We've won all the games so far, and hopefully we'll continue the streak. Losing them. I hope so too, Rafa. Today we're playing against Scarlet High School, a very good team also apart from Bosco Tech. As you mentioned, Bosco Tech has got a good streak so far. They won all of their games in a very dominant performance. We'll see if it plays out again today, and that they can keep up that momentum for the rest of the season. Honestly, so far, Bosco Tech's been doing really well every game. Honestly, I think they can keep it up, uh, but we'll see. Currently, we are waiting for the attacks to happen, you know. Just a quick loadout for the guys there. They're just still talking, having a pep talk between the team. They're still getting ready for it. Both high schools, again, very competitive. They have done great in the past, but we'll see how overall it plays out today. Now, moving here to the game now. Now, here starting off with Monkey Happy as Doomfist. It looks to be that bo starting off rather calmly. We'll see how things go. Now again, both teams early matchup here. Doomfist against Orisa. It looks, it looks to be that now Doomfist getting pushed yet against the corner. They've honestly been doing really well here. They're taking uh, the point they set up with the Orisa. At least you can keep it now. Yeah, totally, Rafa. Now, again, Doomfist blocking the enemy T. <laughs> damaging Bastion right there, but getting pushed by Orisa. Oh, wait! Crazy Dude with a kill! Euphoric with another kill, assisted by Doomfist and Scorjurn. This is huge for them. Honestly, they're holding the point real well here. Killing everyone, not giving up anything. That Soldier slowed them, made it real easy for Doomfist to jump in and kill everyone. Yeah, I agree. Again, I believe... Well, overall, they're doing a great job, especially especially Monkey Happy getting a double kill and an early ultimate. It's like pushing the enemy team back, and but also damaging them for them, so that Soborjona and the rest of the team can kill him off. I mean, that's all to say. You said it perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rafa. Now again, it looks to be that Scarlet High School is taking more of a detour, standing back, but Orisa is mar marching on forward. Now, uh, wow, what? Oh! Ultimate by Doomfist! What a, what a crazy maneuver there by Monkey Happy facing the entire enemy team! And oh! What a double kill there by Salad! Again, also Swarm John using her ultimate and the entire enemy team has been wiped by Bosco Tech! Honestly, so far they've been playing really well, really dominant, really great defending. The soldier just used a slow slows everyone. Doomfist just shreks everyone, annihilating them, and everyone just playing real great this game. Yeah, totally, Raphael. I agree. Now it looks to be that Symmetra pushing down the enemy team, getting her ultimate, switching here this or crazy dude. Uh, oh! Ooh. Now it looks to be oh, what a kill by Monkey! Ten player kill streak. Ooh. Now, aren't they trade one for one in ults there, honestly, but I think that I, um, Charlotte lost okay. more valuable ult there. Now, while you were speaking, Rafa, sadly, Monkey committed Kamikaze going off the map. I, I don't know what the plan was there, but there was a plan, I think. We gotta believe. Bosco Tech gaining the first round in an overall dominant performance. Tell me, Rafael, what do you think of this first matchup? Honestly, Harriet, uh, Ups. They tried, but they couldn't pull it off, okay? Yeah. Like, unironic, like, okay. They did really well, right? They tried yeah. to push, they tried to use ultimates at good times, but Bosco Tech had a really strong hold on the point. They had really great traps by Symmetra, right? And the Doomfist was just destroying them. Yeah. They would try to push, Doomfist would just throw, go in there, destroy them. Yeah, totally. Doomfist was a very key player. Now, going back to the game as round two starts. Now, let's see how you think my uh Scarlet might need to change a little a little those little nick picks for their team to get a better round this time. Yes. Honestly, if you lose, you got to change something up a little bit. Yeah. Now, it looks to be both teams fighting up at the middle. Again, Symmetra holding up the enemy team. Oh, two fists against going straight for the battle. And now, it looks to be that he's fighting off the entire enemy team. Yeah, like there, if you notice, uh, they had really good Symmetra traps, so it made Doomfist take a lot of damage. Honestly, if they can play Symmetra traps well like that, it would be huge for them. But they are destroying the point like crazy. Yeah, oh! oh! 
Mon Monkey and Crazy Dude, great teamwork there by McCree and Doomfist. My five player kills kill streak already. I'm in a loss of words and a team kill. Wow. Honestly, I don't know. Honestly, all they gotta do is defend the point from now on. Yeah. And they already have 81% ult charge on the Doomfist, which is insane. They're doing real well so far. Huge totally. Them. It looks especially now that they're holding down the point, so they can better off play more defensively, being all positioned at the same point, or maybe flank a little bit. Yeah. Looks like Lucio taking out Babsy's death. Oh! Whoa, what a dr aggressive dynamic there! A lot of kills! But all favoring Bosco Tech! Honestly, a boss has been playing really well here, just holding the point down as he should. Building great ult charge. But I, honestly, they don't need to do too much. Just sit around, hold the point. They don't have to fight, they have the ultimates. They just gotta sit around, defend the point. And if they really have to use ultimates, use them and hold the point. Totally. Now again, with two players with ultimates, there, McCree being a very special character, as his ultimate can give him insta-kills. Yes, but it takes a lot of setup and a lot of time yeah. to charge it properly. So it is a little bit hard. Looks to be that now, Scarlet High School going in full tank mode, going facing forward now. Uh, wait, I I'm kind of. Oh my God! What is happening there? Oh my! <laughs> There's too many. Do using her ultimate early just to get one kill. Very, I would say, unique strategy. I I would honestly, I think it doesn't matter. The even the ult there is more of assurance. So even if it's only the one kill. He uses it if he has to on multiple people. Yeah. It's completely fine. Again, Bosco Tech with another team kill. What an incredible performance. I, I do understand the Doomfist gameplay here. Honestly, I think it's too complex in my mind. Doomfist is hiding in the corners, man. <laughs> I don't understand. I think it's just saying, like, guys, I've done too much this round. You guys can take care of it. But now, speaking oh. of Doomfist, going back at, <laughs> going back into action. I think Bosco loses the point here. Or no. Oh, oh my oh. god. Oh, oh my. What is this? Play by that was Gaffey insane! Pushing the enemy team and then using his ultimate! Wow! I thought I was gonna lost the point there. Apparently <laughs> I was very wrong. 50 player kill streak! And w what an end to this round! Oh my god! That was insane! <laughs> I'm honestly in a loss of words, Rob. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Tell me, what do you think? <laughs> I thought Bosco Tech was done there. I thought, you know, you know, the lose point, a minute or two, they'll come back, they'll grab it. That was ridiculous. This is worst play of the game. If you look yeah. at it. Okay, yeah, this, this is your mo Okay. Um, this is your mom. Anyways, that was insane. The May, there was May ult, there was a Batiste ult. The fact they turned that around was just crazy. That yes. was insane gameplay by it. Entirety of Bosco Tech. Yes, a very good first matchup for Bosco Tech. Again, the standout of the entire match being Monkey Happy as Doomfist, being able to utilize that punch and also his ultimate, I believe, to perfection, basically pushing the enemy team out of the objectives and then finishing him off with his ultimate. It was an incredible Doomfist gameplay. Yeah, totally. He, so he stole the round, but another player that had a great performance overall, Crazy Dude. Overall, with McCree and Squirrel he did an incredible job. He got some good performance. Although Monkey Happy did have, I believe, the most kills, they'd still all the team contributed to get like multiple team kills throughout the round. I can notice a lot the keywords were also doing very well. As soon as, you know, um, Doomfist would jump back into the team, he'd instantly get back full health. You know, instant healing. Really great job. Again, also Crazy Dude getting a fourth player kill streak at the end of the round. Also Lucio playing aggressively, something that is quite unique, especially now that they're holding off the objective. But again, especially during that type of holding, Lucio is very effective to push the enemies out of the objective, not necessarily to generate damage, but to take him off uh, to prevent overtime. Yes, he can push people off the objective with his uh, boop. He can heal if he has to. He's very good at you know just keeping people off the objective, playing around keeping the point on defense. Yeah, totally. Overall, what a great performance here by Bosco Tech. We'll be right back for the next few rounds as the teams take a break before the following round. We'll be right back.
And so the second realm, we're doing a point capture and then push payload. Yeah. Bosic is currently pushing the payload, correct? Yes. Now, payload is one of, I believe, Bosco Tech's, um, I would say, they dominate this mode really well. And it has been demonstrated in the past, especially when it comes to the players using Life Fever. They know how to use Life Fever to his fullest in payload. So now, although they're not using it today, they overall have a good knowledge of how to maneuver over payload. So it seems I was wrong. It seems like Boxic isn't actually pushing payload. There's a tiny payload this time. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll see how Boxic does in these two next rounds. Yeah. Now, something to notice, the enemy team has grabbed a Sigma. Sigma is a very, I would say, a very deadly character if used properly. As he, oh, now speaking of Sigma, getting attacked by Monkey Happy. He canceled the Sigma Boulder there. That was kind of insane. Yeah, again, he just basically said, oh, yeah, you're the key player, right? Let me just remind you who just got a 15-player kill streak last match. He's he's really good at canceling those Sigma Boulders. Sigma can't get a single Boulder off, try, try and stun them. Honestly, this is a great Doomfist gameplay. I agree. Again, crazy dude playing Soldier 76, doing a great job. Nailing those headshots. Ooh, Ooh Doomfist puts the enemy team back. Again, Life Fever being brought into the game. Very, very key. Support. The sports are doing very well. Oh! Keeping. Oh! oh! Was that double kill? Yes, Salad with a double kill with Widowmaker. Wow. I can't believe what just happened. What Monster Tank is doing what? very well on all sides. Damage, getting kills, tank, tanking and damaging like crazy. Healers, healing and making sure that their teammates don't die. Honestly, all around good game. Yeah, like, I feel like Scarlet hasn't even got to the point yet. This is unlocked no, payload. And early, uh, early ultimate by Monkey Happy there, facing the entire enemy team with, oh my he's god. A, he's a 1v9 machine. He doesn't need a team, he doesn't need anyone. He can just kill them by himself, man. Going, going full on Terminator there. My viewer getting his ultimate. Very useful actually to stop tanks. We're actually now, it looks to be that Mercy trying to keep the things together for Scarlet High School. Something that it looks to be it, that is slightly working. It, honestly, Mercy just can't hear. With the pressure on the Doomfist, Doomfist just can't kill her anytime he feels like it. Now, it looks to be that... Uh, Jerv Funko has Monkey Happy in the corner there, corner there, finally being able, probably finally being able to take him out. I know. So if we notice here, one thing the Doom is very good at is moving around. He can move around a lot, isn't getting hit a lot, right? And then when he needs to, he packs up and gets healed by support. Or Life Fear pulls him out. Now, Killing him is a, a Herculean task here, man. It is insane. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> 10 player kill streak again! Now, well, even in front of the point, he just moves out with his E and his, um, punch like he's got this yeah again as you said doomsday is really hard to kill especially because of his high mobility but i believe some oh god oh dude activated by mccree being taken out at the exact precise time by life fever we just witnessed basically a great save there by life fever preventing doomfist from getting headshotted by mccree mm. May now using her ultimate crazy dude stepping up to get two kills and the first team kill of the round for Bosco Tech. Honestly, this game is just insane. I'm kind of lost for words here. Yeah. The Doomfist is playing really well with the mobility. The damage healers are dealing incredible amounts of damage. The healers are healing like crazy. Life Weaver is honestly doing crazy grabs. Like, I don't know what to say here. <laughs> it's not that Charlotte's a bad team. It's just they're being annihilated here. Like, they can't really respond to this incredible pressure being put up by the Doomfist. Again, also, Sigma utilizing his ultimate there, trying to listen to the melodies in his head, but sadly, they didn't work out this time. Now, oh, using that rock to push the enemy team back. Again, facing off against Doomfist, but not paying off. Doomfist with the ultimate again for the third time. I, I honestly cannot believe they just basically pushed him into the corner now. I they they can't do anything. If they try to leave, Doomfish just says no. <laughs> now, an incredible victory there by Bosco Tech. It's not a victory, yeah. They still have to push the they still have to capture the first point at the very least. Yeah. Maybe Charlotte can bring it back and just play like Bosco and be insane and just defend the entire time. It will be hard though. Yes. Oh like honestly, 
Fosco Tech is having an overall dominant performance, but they still this the match is not over, guys. Like things can still change up, although they might not look like they may change. A good victory, especially a crushing one, can create overconfidence. So we'll see if Bosco Tech's team is still alert for possible comebacks, but we'll see. Uh, so what do you so you think Bosco Tech is what do you think about like Charlotte winning this game? What do you what do you think? Their odds are really not very favorable right now, especially with Bosco Tech's dominant performance. But I would say, yeah, they still have a chance. It's still not over. They now have the opportunity to push Bosco Tech back. I believe this might be a very tight round. We might see either Bosco Tech winning by a few seconds or uh, Scarlet basically winning because Bosco Tech couldn't get it, the payload pushed by like 0.1 meters, basically. <clears throat> we'll see how it goes. Now again, Scarlet getting ready for war, camping the spawn. So one thing I would like to push, uh, point out is we don't actually have to do this this time. Monkey Happy's playing uh, Hammond. We have a lot of change up in the comp here. Yeah, well, that's that's very curious actually. Now like, utilizing Wrecking Ball there, but yeah, it's yeah, good notice there, Rafa. It's actually something very curious. This might be more to benefit the attack side of Moscow Tech, but now he's just again facing off against the entire enemy team. And he can do it. L like Wrecking Ball's huge shield makes like it just jump in there. High, mo high mobility, can get out, get in. Honestly, I understand going from the Doomfish to the Wrecking Ball. A very similar change, I mean. Very high mobility, tanky characters. Yeah, especially for offense. As he's basically a character that bounces around the round, it wouldn't be preferable for using as defense because he would want to hold down a position, right? Instead yeah. of moving around and utilizing high points to deal more damage. Anyways, uh, Bosco seems to be doing pretty well. They're already, uh, they've already gone past like you know the first little gate here and are uh, pushing to the point. Now Ramatra activating Nemesis mode, causing a lot of damage and getting picked up by Life Fever, getting a kill. But it ended. Now, oh, mm. Monkey with a double kill, triple kill. It looks like they just claim the point here, and they can't, and then team can't sell them. And that's game or round, sorry round. That's good round. Honestly, that was insane. Bosco Tech had really really high pressure there and they just enemy team just couldn't stop them so it oh I, i've never seen a round end so quickly on this for o an overwatch match that was an incredible performance again monkey happy o overall standout of today's matchup having an incredibly dominant performance with both wrecking ball and doomfist i'm honestly surprised of uh, of Honestly, he ha that kid has the incredible potential for the future. Honestly, this round has gone insane for Bosco. They've been playing like cr really well. They're pushing point. They're keeping point. Honestly, this has just been... I I'm speechless. Like, they're playing insanely well. What do you think, Luis? I'm honestly, I believe I've seen it all today. Uh, I'm incredibly surprised by the, incre the dominant performance we're getting displayed here today. But still... I would say, honestly, I believe the matchup has been decided already. There's still some rounds. Maybe there's a comeback. But we'll see, honestly. I believe Bosco Tech overall has won the match so far. And it would be really sad if they end up getting clutched today. Now, I think it's always a mistake to say a team has won the match. Because in yeah. esports, crazy flips happen all the time. Yes. Especially in very aggressive games like Overwatch. And especially when commentators like us just happen to jinx our team. I'm just saying, like, whenever we s I hear, I'll hear, you know, wow, this guy's gotten deathless. Oh, he just died. <laughs> exactly. So, Luis, we can't be saying this kind of thing. Honestly, I think I think there's a good chance to bring this back. I think Scarlet can try, their, uh, re and they can make attempt, and I think they could do it. But I think Bosco just had a very good mental right now, and they can just need a push for the win, and they've got it. So, folks, if Bosco Tech gets clutched, we jinxed it. We're sorry, but it's probably a, it's a possibility. Now, we're heading back to gameplay again. Bosco Tech is basically they need one more round to win today, but we'll see how it goes. The match is going to start. We'll see if Bosco Tech tends to utilize Doomfist again, and it appears they're not utilizing Monkey Happy switches to Genji. 
Actually, uh, but I guess he's the, the damage dealer now. He realized the part was. Uh, he realized he's too good tank. It might be a little bit too boring to play at this round. You know, got to switch it up. It looks like up. Yeah, it looks to me that there was a switch in roles as Salad is now playing Reinhardt. Oh no, no, no. Diva, Diva, Diva. Reinhardt's still a great legend, guys. Don't get me wrong. But again, it looks to me that the roles have been switched. As Genji is now DPS and Salad is now a tank. I have noticed though, uh, Monkey Happy really seems like mobile characters here. The Genji has the dash. Yeah. Uh, Doomfist is Doomfist. Yeah. Wrecking Ball got the grapple and speed from the ball mode. Like, he seems a favor, very high mobility characters here. I get how G of launching to war there, facing against Junker Queen. As Brigitte comes from behind. You would think Junker Queen would have the home to advantage here, but I guess it doesn't matter against Diva. Yeah, Zack Flash really looks to be that Bosco Tech is pushing Scarlet Lake High School out of the point. Genji deflecting and getting kills. They're a crazy dude again, getting a double kill. So, yes, Genji hit his fair style very well. He's very good at chasing out enemies, taking them off, running them over, and just distracting the enemy team overall. And it fits him perfectly for this, if it's perfectly for Genji, honestly. It could not see a more beautiful combo. Yeah, and then also notice the teamwork. They're doing great. So now Bosco Tech with the early point. Scarlet needs to step it up a little more here if they want to get today's matchup, but they're doing great so far. We'll see how things uh we'll see how things go. Well, excuse me, folks. I just uh we say Charlotte High School, excuse me. So now let's see, they're trying to get they're trying to push the point, but the Genji and honestly just damage dealer general are going crazy here. Dealing insane amounts of damage, pushing, and just fishing off everything possible. They yeah. really can't just get to the point. Monkey and Salad on fire, gaining a lot of a high player kill streak. I believe Monkey has five kills, and Salad also has five kills, I believe. And Charlotte needs to step it up a little more. Honestly, we also, um, Boskir has huge ult charge. If you see Genjo, uh, Genji already has the Dragon Blade, um, Diva just used the ultimate, and all of them are in the 90s. Already have all. Ten player kill streak by crazy dude. Oh my god! Uh, honestly, I'm in a loss of words. Uh, honestly, this is just incredible from Bosco's side. Yeah, like what is there supposed to say? Like, uh, I think what we're supposed to say is um, Bosco's doing real well this match. <laughs> I hope they pay us. <laughs> so now. Uh, again, it looks to be that the pace is slowing down a little more. Charlotte looks to be that th they're oh. kind of what? This is uh, this is the next round. I think they I think they won. Oh wow! <laughs> I didn't even realize that's my bad. I guess. Yeah, that, that, we just got cut off our guard here. Bosco Tech getting the first point of the match. Now Junker Queen going all in. Reaper falling back. Okay. Oh. So can you explain exactly how Flashpoint works for, uh, you know, those at home who might understand? Well, oh yeah, I, I, I'm sorry Robin, but there's too much happening! This is a crazy dude! This is just insane, man. Like, I, I see light, I see colors, I see death. Exactly, that's all you see! And then you're, boop! I, that's back at spawn. So now, oh, uh, what was your question, Robin? Uh, I'm sorry. How does Flashpoint work for those at uh, home? Because I think this is a newer game mode, right? Yeah, Flashpoint is basically, like, I would say the reference is like card points from Call of Duty that you control a point, then the point switches partition, and the p then the team that can get the most I don't know like control or over the m different points wins. Okay. Because you can like control the point uh, more that you can. Again, right. for, you know for those at home, thank yeah, you for yeah, playing yeah. this, least. Point reference card point from Call of Duty. Now, oh, you know the even ultimately get it and kill there, it makes everyone okay. leap. <laughs> Killing him with the smile on the back. <laughs> I, 50 I, player kill streak. I don't have to say. Oh, this is just incredible. Diva again on the no, back. No, not the Diva. Now overtime. Bosco Tech one point ahead. I, I think it's gonna be too soon. Oh wait. Oh, overtime. It looks to me that they're they take a point. It, Charlotte takes a point. Bosco, you know, honestly, if they take a point, it's not a big deal, right? Give Bosco Tech. I don't know, we'll say uh, 30 seconds, so regroup and they'll attack. And I think they can take it back. Sure, but still, they need to be careful to not give enough time for Charlotte to gain a point, as things will basically be in a 1v1 scenario. The HV Charlotte does have a lot of ult charge on a decent character and the reaper up. 
Looks to be Reaper retreating from the violence there. Bosco Tech needs to try to pick off people who have the ult, though they do not know this information. Oh, wow! What? Too much happening there, folks! Tracy Doom does a double kill! Oh, no, the, the Lucio goes out and it gives huge shield threats. To oh! Oh! The Diva takes someone down with her. Oh, my God, that's huge! <laughs> okay. Keiji going on fire, getting a double kill, ca recapturing the point. Now, overtime has been activated. I think that's, I think that's, uh, round? Yeah, that me that is... No? Okay, there's a third one. That is the second one. Okay, now, let's slow down a bit there. Charlotte nearly took the point. They were close. But Boxing was able to bring it back there. Yes. Now, is this showing that Bosco Tech got a little too confident? I think what happened there is uh, Bosco Tech didn't have as much ult charge. And I think Charlotte had a lot more ult to spend. And, you know, they're kind of desperate. Take point. When you corner an animal... It will attack you. Yes. They cornered Charlotte and Charlotte attacked. Now it looks to be that Diva holding off Charlotte High School there. I can't get it destroyed. The flashpoint has been activated. Reaper with the. Wow. Ooh, that was a big Reaper roll. Oh, the Diva goes. A very risky man. Oh, oh my god. Another a second kill, second kill with that. The Diva's going insane, just pushing and shoving onto the point, doing so much damage. Five player kill streak by Diva as she captures the flash point. Again, he picks, uh, trying to pick off the Reaper. We just gets away. Reaper again. Some he utilized his ultimate a little early there, getting just I believe just one kill. But again. It managed to push them off a little bit of the flash point. Even if you don't get a kill with your ult, if it pushes everyone off point, it yeah. can still be very useful. Yeah. Because, as you said, it's always important to try to make it worth something, right? Like, yes. even though you don't get kills, maybe try to push them back a full, like, uh, like here from the flash point. As, well, now that we're speaking, Charlotte is taking control over the flash point. But there is something more important in this game than kills. It is controlling the flash point. Yes. So anything that helps you control Flashpoint is more important than kills. Now, Bosco Tech regaining control, basically saying like, oh yeah, here's your toy, but give it back. Now, it looks to be that now Genji going to the offensive there, deflecting some shots. Genji's just harassing, you know, trying to distract them a little bit, making Bosco have some more time on the point. Oh! Can Charlotte push in time to get there? The time is running out. Okay, look, they pushed in overtime. But if we look here, I think that's, I think that's, yeah, that's game. That's been a good game. That's Bosco 3-0. I think that's, that's the entire game, right? No more? Yeah, yeah, I think that's it. <sighs> now, what an incredible performance here by Bosco Tech. Overall. Yeah, I'm in the last awards, guys. Like, what more is there to say? Honestly, they did incredible this game. The Doomfist was, in, was incredible. The Genji was incredible. The Hammond was incredible. The no. healers had incredible healing. That white life weaver, I think the second round, great pools. DPS is doing incredible amounts of damage. It was just insane on Mosk Tech. Oh, honestly, all around, the entire team just did incredible. No one failed their jobs. Everyone was playing just well. Yeah, totally. Again, as um, uh, our production team showcased the play of the game, Mora going full on DPS. Although she's a healer, so a very co uh, common custom for Moira there. But yeah, overall, as you say, Rafa, what an incredible performance. We just witnessed something very dominant. And the Overwatch team in general is gaining, I would say, a very dominant performance overall in the season. They're yeah, doing this great. is their third win out of uh, yeah. three games. And they're doing it, I believe they haven't lost any match. <laughs> It has yeah. been 3 0 like three times now. And honestly, I believe it's something good for Bosco Tech. They're having a great performance. But still, they need to be careful for not getting a little overconfident. But we'll see how things go, honestly. Overall, what an incredible performance. I hope the team is celebrating. But yeah, they totally deserve it. They, I'd say the coach needs to give them a night off or something. <laughs> I think we'll be back in a minute, everyone. Thank you for watching the stream.
Welcome back, everybody. I'm here joined by your forward, also known as JJ, and hey. Donovan, also known as Red Rex, both support players for the Overwatch team here for Bosco Tech. Now, tell me, guys, how do you feel about after that dominant performance today? It was fun. It was fun. It was yeah. a good time. I feel good. Um, we're 9-0 on map defense right now. So, that's all I didn't know. Uh, overall, has played three games. Yeah, totally. Yo, guys, actually done incredible this past few games. Overall, dominated every single one. Tell me, what is that mentality now, going into every game, knowing that you're doing incredibly well? Uh, honestly, we're pretty cocky up there. <laughs> you know, we're pretty confident. Not cocky. We're confident. Yeah, we're confident extremely in, confident in yeah. our team. We're <laughs> confident in our tank, our our play style, our comps good. We all have our coach. We're our confident coach, in our yeah. coach. We've got a pretty good grasp of the comp we're running. Overall, also, your guys' teamwork is on spot, honestly. How you guys utilize your tanks and supports has done in 